Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you guys know, I love reviewing something with uh, innovations or new technology, and this is definitely one that intrigues me. Why? Because it's a fully electric performance car that can mimic the feel and the sound of an ICE or internal combustion engine vehicle. And you know what? It's almost fooling me. Almost fooling me to the point where I could be convinced to buy an EV versus a gasoline powered car just because this thing drives so much like a real gas powered performance machine. Is that really possible? Well, let me explain as an engineer some interesting technology behind the scene that allows this vehicle to feel and sound like a real gas powered performance car. Let's go. Welcome back. So I'm very fascinated by this Ionic 5N which is the high-performance version of the Ionic 5 that we already know. But this is no ordinary high-performance electric car. This one truly mimics a gasoline-powered sports machine. And more on that later on. But for now, let me do a quick quality check. This one is built in Korea, as you can see, with a K in the front of the VIN number. And this is something unique about Ionic 5 in general because the hood actually goes over the fender and there's actually basically no front fender. This is just this portion here. The hood goes all the way like a clamshell. And so I can't even measure the gap over here. I could measure the gap over here, which is about 3.9 millimeter, almost four millimeters, so it's average. And then uh, of course there's also a gap over here, which is pretty good at 3.7, a bit wide here at four millimeter and also four millimeter, maybe actually 4.1. So a bit wider than what I would like to see. But the alignment is very good. You can see everything lines up well. There's no crease over here on this side, but the panel fit looks all good. The gap's a little bit bigger, I think, than what I want to see in a high performance vehicle like this. But the paint job, which is absolutely mesmerizing, this is the matte finish, sky bluish color, and it looks really good with this setup which is the end performance model with blackout trims and orange slash red, red color trims all over the body. And also, of course, the same color in terms of braking. So it looks absolutely beautiful, but it's more than skin deep in terms of beauty of the 5N because of all the engineering that went behind the scene to make this EV potentially feel like a real internal combustion engine machine. And I thought when I first heard about what Hyundai was doing with this, that there's no way they could fool me. As an engineer, I have a bit of pride in being able to figure things out. But when I drive this, my brain is tricking me because I feel here, everything around me, as if this is a real gasoline powered performance machine. So I'm gonna talk about that. And in fact, I'm going to give you seven reasons why this thing can be convincing as a gasoline powered performance car. So let's take a look at the first thing, which is to do with the fact that this can mimic an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission. So I'll talk about that as I drive this vehicle. And then there's also different sound you can pick. This thing pops and burps and farts, just like a real gasoline powered car. It even hits red line and it will back off a bit. And even at idle, you can see the uh, fake RPM tech kind of just idling and moving up and down as if there is a real engine underneath the hood, even though this is a purely electric vehicle. Also interesting is the fact that you can play around with the split of the torque and power front and back. You can go 100% front to make it into a front wheel drive car or 100% back as a rear wheel drive car and even put in a drift mode so you can drift this thing. While wow, there's so much technology in this vehicle that I can't even begin to explain everything, but I'm gonna to attempt to do that by talking about those seven key points. So let's hop in and drive this vehicle and let me tell you all about this vehicle as a potential replacement for a gasoline powered performance machine because it's going to make you feel like you actually have a gasoline powered car. Okay, so now I'm inside Aonic 5N and it has many different uh, features and technology to mimic a gasoline powered sports machine and one of them, which is the first point I want to talk about, is the fact that it mimics eight-speed automatic dual-clutch transmission with the uh, sound and the feel and everything. There's actually a speaker outside and inside, and you can turn off the speaker outside as well. So when I rev up like this, not only can you hear the sound inside, but other people can also hear outside. 
and you can also change the sound as well. I have it in what they call the ignition mode, which is the closest to the actual engine sound. So I like this one the best. But you can also put in two other sound modes, which I'll show you a little bit later on. And also even warns me if I hit a red line like this. And even when I'm driving, it will actually tell me to upshift as well. So very interesting. Um, even at idle, as you can tell, the tack is moving a little bit like this. It makes me think like I'm idling with a gasoline-powered car. But the most interesting thing, of course, is to take it for a drive. So let me just drive and keep on talking. Okay, so I'm in the residential area, so I can't really drive too fast here. But this thing has 601 horsepower in normal setting and up to 641 horsepower if I put in a special a boost which stays on for 10 seconds for a launch control but even if you don't use that oh my goodness 601 horsepower is crazy and that's good for uh, 0 to 60 in just over three seconds so absolutely phenomenal acceleration and again I'll talk about that a little bit later on but right now let's focus on transmission so I can um, manually use a paddle shifter to shift up or shift down and you can hear the little blip there's also crackles and stuff so let me come to a full stop and accelerate a little bit here and I'll manually use the paddle shifter to shift up as well. Okay, now let me shift down. <laughs> you can hear the actual uh, shifting of the transmission or fake transmission I should say and you can almost throw yourself in thinking that this is a real transmission shifting up and down. The only difference, of course, is, is that you don't get the actual body movement as you would in a dual clutch transmission, but uh, almost everything is there to make you feel like you have an actual 8-speed dual clutch transmission. And that's the first point. But also the second point is the sound of the fake engine. And this is the part that really interest me as an engineer because they were able to create all the fake sound of a pop the farting we sometimes call it the blip sound everything as you shift up and down or just driving in general and it's giving me at least in terms of the audio side all the clues that this could be a gasoline powered car so i'm gonna see if i can show you some of that it's a lot harder to tell on the camera but let me see if i can show you that See, I purposely hit the red line and didn't upshift, so it's uh, actually backed off, uh, basically telling me that I redlined out, and, and therefore the, it backed off my throttle. And it's mimicking again what a real gasoline power car might do if I did that and didn't shift. So let me shift manually now. So I shift second gear, I'm back to first gear, so you wouldn't normally do that in a real gasoline car, but I just did that to show you the sound change. Let me second gear, third gear, and then I shift down to second gear, it blips, and back to first gear, it blips again. So again, you don't get the kind of the body movement, but the sound, the feel, everything is fooling my brain, and, and it's kind of a strange feeling because you know it's an electric car, but you also can't seem to figure out why it feels so much like a gasoline powered car. So this is the second point, the fact that they're able to create all the sound of a real gasoline car as well. Okay, so now I've come to a stop. I just want to show you the three different sounds as well. So this one, I have it in the N-Active Sound Plus, which is the simulated sound system in the ignition. So when I rev it up, sounds very close to an actual engine sound, not identical, but very close. But there's also two other ones. This is called Evolution, which is the uh, future sound of electric anise set. So what is that? A little bit like an engine sound, but something different, like a, some kind of a spacecraft from the future. And third one is called Supersonic, and this is supposed to uh, sound like a supersonic speed of a powerful thrust inspired by fighter jets. This is probably my least favorite because it sounds really fakey and it doesn't even sound good, so I wouldn't ever use supersonic. I don't mind the evolution. 
because it does sound a little bit like an, an engine, but ignition is the best one. Whoa. But it is not trying to be 100% engine sound. It is a bit of like a hybrid sound between a real engine and what sort of a future electric car might sound like. So it's a cool thing that you can pick and choose which one you like. I'll leave it in ignition for now. And now let me talk about the third point, which is the fact that not only do I have a dual clutch transmission simulator, I can actually uh, also use a paddle shifter here. So this one has a real paddle shifter here and I can shift up and down to work with this kind of fake 8-speed automatic. So I can shift up, fourth, third gear, second gear. Now I'm not driving very fast, so it's not blipping right now, but I can go a little bit faster. And again, you don't get too much of this motion, but all the sound is there emulating what a dual clad transmission might feel like using paddle shifter. So I can just manually shift up, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and I can go and downshift now to third gear and second gear. And you can hear that blip. So the dual clad transmission is well emulated, but it's the fact that you can use a paddle shifter to shift up and down that truly makes it feel like a real gasoline power vehicle. I will say that if Hyundai could have taken it one more step and give me an actual shifter, like a manual transmission shifter uh, with a clutch, that would be a perfect fake engine system. I think that would make it even more like a gasoline powered car and I know that they're capable of doing that, so I hope that we'll see that in some other future electric vehicle from Hyundai. But for now, this paddle shifter is good enough. The fourth point I want to talk about is the fact that despite all that, the simulated sound, the transmission feel, all that stuff, even if you were to put all that away and kind of drive this in a normal electric mode, it is still a phenomenal car. If I step on it, Okay, so again, I purposely let it hit the red line right now and I had to shift and kind of gave me a warning. But again, without all that fancy technology behind it, this thing is just phenomenal. 601 horsepower or 641 with um, special boost, uh, which I can do by clicking on the button here. I mean, zero to 16, 3.2 seconds. What is that? That's like a Lamborghini or Ferrari territory in some cases. Uh, definitely Porsche 911 territory coming out of a Hyundai compact hatchback which is crazy right this thing is not cheap but very affordable in comparison to other performance vehicle so if you really want a true compact hatch that can maybe outperform a Porsche this will be it it's got phenomenal power and torque and it's just immensely fun to drive the fifth point I want to talk about is the fact that the steering has a really good feel. Now this is fully electric car, which means obviously fully electric steering. Uh, well, for that matter, most gasoline power car uses EPS nowadays as well, which is electric power steering. But this one has a good weight to it, a good feel to it. It doesn't feel too light. It's super quick. So if I move the steering left and right like this, it's just immediate response. This kind of quick response is pretty rare to see even in uh, most performance machines. Usually cars are a little bit slow in responding when you turn the steering, but this is immediate. Like wherever you point it, the thing goes. The steering is excellent for electric car and I actually enjoy the steering feel, which is a tall order because usually for most electric cars, I hate the steering feel because it's so light and easy to drive, but has no feeling at all. And the sixth point is about the suspension because despite the fact that this is a full end model and like I said, fully capable of mimicking and emulating a gasoline powered car, it's actually quite comfortable and smooth. It is a very stiff suspension, no question, and you're going to feel every bump and every pebble on the road, but it's comfortable. It's not making me feel uh, uncomfortable in terms of driving over rough road like this one right now. I got lots of potholes underneath, um, but it's very well managed. However, having said all that, if you're buying this, you're buying a performance machine and not a cruiser, and therefore you're gonna have to put up with a very stiff suspension, uh, which does allow for a great cornering, like on rails, and that's what you want in the end model. But if you're looking for comfortable sports machine or comfortable performance machine, don't get this one because this thing is truly stiff on the road. 
The seventh and last point why I really enjoy this as a performance machine and the fact that I can almost be convinced that this can replace other high performance uh, internal combustion engine cars as a possible purchase is the fact that I could just turn off all this, forget the gasoline sound, forget the transmission feel and I can just push this button and drive it in a normal mode and I can just enjoy it as a fast high performance electric car and you know what this is just fine actually I don't have to shift all the time and this way I have a best of both worlds I can shift like in a ICE or internal combustion engine vehicle or I can put it in a fully electric mode still leave the sound on so I have the ignition sound on right now um, but I don't have to shift up and down or worry about redlining this and just drive normally and under these circumstances it is simply a fast high performance machine with so much capability that it really deserves to be called a true performance machine again the ride is stiff as you can tell right now I'm going over some bump um, but still manageable and it is just a blast to drive that's probably the last thing I really wanted to mention is that it doesn't matter what you call this or what kind of technology it has it is simply a blast to drive and I truly enjoy driving it would I would I buy this over an actual gasoline powered performance machine I'm not so sure about that because one of the things that happened while I'm driving is that even though it's mimicking a gasoline powered car it's not 100% real and therefore there's a bit of a trickery happening between what I'm seeing feeling and hearing and what my brain is processing so there's a bit of a gap and therefore I feel a little bit of motion sickness from time to time because the brain is thinking one thing but my body is feeling another thing and the two is almost matched but not quite and that gap can give you a little bit of a motion sickness feel so um, I don't know that I would buy this over a true gasoline power vehicle simply because I love gasoline power vehicle and it's gonna take a while for me to be convinced to replace an ICE with electric car but you know what in four or five years time or maybe down further who knows gasoline powered performance machine could be gone or almost gone and by that time maybe I have to choose an EV as a performance machine and something like this would definitely work because for all intents and purposes it kind of drives like a gasoline powered car and so that's the kind of best concluding remark I can give you is that if you're not convinced of EV yet just because of all the things that we hear about such as the infrastructure problem charging station issues and so forth uh, and therefore you want to stay with a gasoline powered car but at some point you think you have to shift the electric car but you want to kind of cling on to what the gasoline powered car might feel like well this is your best bet in fact it's more than just a compromise it is a truly truly powerful well-engineered sports machine that happens to have a capability to mimic uh, ICE or gasoline powered vehicle so I love this vehicle for what it is in terms of engineering background in terms of engineering innovation I can't ask for more because this is a true marvel of engineering that they were able to do this I can't imagine the number of hours they spent to try to figure out how to do this properly so I love this Ionic 5 band let me know what you think in the comments below if you do enjoy my video please give me a thumbs up make some comments and if you haven't done so yet would you kindly subscribe as well until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.